it's your boy Zaddy Chunk Chunk, and I'm. I can't believe I just said the intro that way. Cut. <laughs> what it is, what it do, Z Double C Crew, it's your boy Zaddy Chunk Chunk, and I'm back again with another video. I don't know what's going on through my mind. I don't know why I did an intro, why I didn't start off my intro the normal way. I think it's because I have a lot on my mind. Um, I want to say that. This week, or not even this, just this week, this month is going to be a transparent month. Um, before we hop into this video, I do want to say a happy uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, I want everybody to be aware. So I definitely want to shout that out. And I want to give a big shout out to Mrs. Jen from Blended Chaos. She has finally been pronounced cancer free. That is absolutely amazing. People give it up for her. Go to Blended Chaos fam, uh, the Blended Chaos channel. Tell the ZCC sent you and say congrats on being cancer free. But as you guys can see by the title, today is a really hectic video. Um, I'm going to be very transparent with you, and it's not just with this video, it's going to be with uh, like how I did with my dad, with the uh, is B Loves Life's husband, my father. Um, I did that video and this video, and there's going to be a lot more videos that's going to happen this month that it's just going to be us talking. And I'm keeping it real with you. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to get everything out on the table, out on the floor. Um, I'm sick of rumors floating here and there. Um, so now, if people do comment rumors that I addressed, I feel more at ease about it because I addressed them already. But in, and then if someone says the off the wall rumor that makes no sense or has no kind of ounce of, of uh, truth to it, then I just don't care about it. Now, another reason why that I am making um, this video as well is because, and a lot of these transparent videos is because I am going to get a lot of attention. I'm going to be getting a lot of attention to my channel, to the ZCC Family channel. Um, that is coming very soon. Uh, there's a reason for that. I'm not going to explain it yet, but I'm going to tell you guys probably in about two to three videos from now. But within the next month, uh, there's going to be a lot, a lot of attention. And my channel is about to have a lot of new faces to it. Not on my, or not on my videos, but for subscribers-wise and views-wise, there's going to be a lot of new faces coming to visit my channel. So I want to be able to put these videos out there so they can know what's the deal when they see these comments that people make. Now, as you guys can see by the title, I'm gonna be talking about the uh, alleged, the alleged rumors about me beating on women, um, and then also me having a woman pregnant while having a, a alleged baby out here right now. I don't know if this, if I, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get into detail. This may be a longer video, but uh, it's gonna be spilling a lot of tea, a lot of juicy stuff here. So grab your popcorn, grab some snacks, and uh, get your typing fingers ready, because I know, like I said, there's gonna be a lot of comments in here. All right, I'm gonna call her Joanne. I'm not gonna say her name, of course. So Joanne, just like the video from my scary, uh, scary story time, make sure you go check that out. But, um, so I met this girl, Joanne, through a mutual friend at a party. Uh, quick, quick snippet of Joanne. She is a turn up girl. Like I said, I met her at a party. And when I say turn up, I'm not talking about your typical, let's go to the club and drink. Uh, we're definitely not uh, club ages yet. I think we're 2019. So we used to turn up at house parties and get super drunk, but uh, she would take turn up to a different level, meaning drugs, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so she was a real, for real turn up person. Um, so met this girl through a mutual friend, um, and this mutual friend that I met her through was a girl I was talking to at the time. So later on, like I said, I'm gonna try to keep this video short and sweet. Me and this girl, Joanne, end up talking through Facebook messages. And then um, she was like, hey, you should come over. I'm like, bet you should, da, this, da, that. She came over, she brought a bottle, and we were drinking and watching uh, Netflix. 
Long story short, we got drunk. We ended up having sex. It was unprotected. And then I get a text a month later saying, Dalvin, we need to talk. Now, I know multiple guys have had that text. When you hear that we need to talk text, your stomach drops to the floor because you already know what time it is. So, especially from a girl that like I really didn't have a connection with. So, I already knew it was like, okay, if she's saying we need to talk. There's nothing deep between us, so it has to be that. So, of course, I get the text, I'm pregnant. Now, and also she was saying, now I'm not sure if it's 100% yours. I'm like, okay, cool, uh, that's out of that. So then, I, I, but she, I guess she made me the main person though. She, she was like, she was pretty confident that it was mine. So I was the one mostly there for like the birth and stuff. I, didn't, I never went to any doctor's appointments, but that was because she wouldn't let me, she wouldn't allow me. She was very distant when it came to this pregnancy. Um, but she always told me though, it is a possibility that it's not mine, but she's confident it is mine. She was wishy-washy, wishy-washy. So long story short, uh, she ended up, I, I was working for Dish Network TV services and I was on call with a client. She ends up telling me Dalvin had the baby. So we end, I end up going to the, I call my parents, we end up going to the hospital. When I get there, I'm, I'm already mad. The fact that she wouldn't let me be there for the birth of a child that's potentially mine. And the reason why she said she didn't want me there is because she didn't know if it would be mine or not. She didn't want to see the baby come out white or anything of that sort. So I'm like, okay, totally understandable. Well, I was totally understandable. I was still angry about it. But uh, I think the baby was still mixed, but still we're not sure if it was mine. So me and her got into an argument once I got to that place saying, I was upset that she wouldn't let me be there for the, the birth of the child and I decided that. End up leaving. Like I said, I'm summing up this story very short. But later on, down the timeline of me and her, and this is only probably a couple of weeks or, or probably a month later, um, I end up getting my license. Well, I've been having my license. Well, no, I end up getting my license, but I didn't have a vehicle at the time. I was saving up for a vehicle, and I was like really close to buying a vehicle, but I needed a rise to work. She, I worked out an agreement with her, and she was giving me rides to work for the time being. And uh, she'll, well, she, my mom would give me a ride to work, and she'll pick me up. So one night, she picked me up with uh, my alleged daughter. It's a girl, and uh, we had, uh, we, everything was going great, going fine. I was sitting in the back seat, I believe, uh, during the whole ride, and I was just playing with the baby. And then, well, obviously the baby was in a car seat, wasn't like holding her, so playing with the baby while she was in a car seat. And then once I, once we pulled up to my house, I ended up getting in the front seat, me and her ended up talking. I do not remember what the conversation was about. Uh, but we ended up talking and things got, things got heated and we got into an argument. Now I got really angry and I don't know what she did or what she said. And I end up, so on the rear view mirror, she had glasses, sunglasses, and then like this beaded necklace, plastic necklace, something that looks like Mardi Gras beads, but um, some, some of that sort. I end up pulling those down. Like I was angry, I pulled those down, that was it. And then she was like, oh my God, I can't believe you. I can't believe you hit me. You need to get off the car right now. That's how that. I'm like, bro, whatever, calm down. That's how me and her getting into more arguments. Then she ends up calling the police. I'm like, whatever. I go in my house. And that was the end of that. So now, uh, me and her get back on good terms again. And this is probably a couple weeks later. And I have a car by now. And uh, she was like, yeah, you could. I'm like, all right, I got a car. Great. Now I come see you. I think it's probably a month later. And she finally was letting me come see the baby. Uh, just to let you guys know, I, my parents visit this girl and uh, visited her mom. And, and uh, we see, I've seen, I visited the baby on multiple occasions at her house before, before then. It was always trouble. And most of our arguments were about placement because it was always troubling to get her to have the baby come to my house. I always had to visit the baby when I was with her or at her house. And I'm like, well, if this is my baby, I want to be able to bring her to my house and things of that sort. But that was always a trouble issue. And also another trouble issue is when it came to getting a DNA test, she will always say no. 
So I was really confused about this girl. I'm like, okay, why won't you let me get a DNA test? And then my mom was pretty much pressuring me like, well, not pressuring me, but she was on me like, okay, Dalvin, before we go any further, we need to get you a DNA test, which is facts. Uh, a month later, finally, we get back from the term. She's saying, you come see the baby. I'm like, bet, I have my own whip. She told me to be at her house at a certain time. She lived with her mom. I'm like, all right, I get there. I'm not going to do a ring of the doorbell. Joanne is not home. She was, well, I don't know if she was, she probably was home, but she's just not answering the door. So I'm like, what is going on? And I end up calling, blowing her phone up, texting her. She's not responding. So I took a picture of the house to, so I could have proof like, hey, I was here, you didn't answer that, I said that. I always wanted, like I kept receipts for pampers and stuff of that sort. Okay, because obviously I knew me and her were gonna eventually go to court when it came to custody for this child because me and her just never, ever, ever saw eye to eye. Um, so I end up turning around, about to hop back in my whip. When I do that, a police officer pulls up and then he asks me if, I'm Dal if I was Dalvin there, if I was Dalvin. So I say, yeah, that's me. And then uh, he was like, all right, I'm here to serve you these papers. And then he told me I have a restraining order put against me. I'm not allowed to go to this, I'm not allowed to be in the vicinity of this woman. That I decided that I really didn't read deep into the restraining order because uh, there's no need for me. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I can't be by her. That's all I got from it. So I ended up telling my mom and dad, and I was like, okay. And then the restraining order also said that I can contact her through my mom for the baby. So uh, I was like, okay, whatever. But me and her try to get DNA. Uh, like I said beforehand, before that situation, try to get plenty of DNA tests. She always, first she'll say, oh yeah, I'm down, I'm down. But when it's time to actually do it, she was always avoiding it and saying, no, I, I made an excuse to not get the DNA test. So time goes by. We're in tw uh, 2018 right now. And now people are saying that I beat this woman and I have restrained because she has restraining order because I beat her. That is not true. That is 100% false. I do not have a domestic charge, domestic violence, none of that against me on my record. I noticed that there's some people looking up my record. For some reason, you got a lot of time on your hands and I understand you guys want to see a family fall. I, I get it, I get it. You guys. You guys are not happy. So, well, not everybody, but there's some people in here who are just really negative Nancy's and you guys don't have nothing else better than do. I'm gonna get up because I'm sick of this chair squeaking. But you guys really have nothing else better than do than just try to make my me and my family look bad. This is what I wanna say, ZCC family. Before YouTube, I was a normal kid, a normal growing man, number normal young adult. I never painted a picture that I was perfect. My, uh, I never said I was perfect. My family never said we were perfect. I actually, let me rephrase this. We probably painted a picture of that we were a, a perfect family, I would say. We probably painted that picture, not on purpose, but if you watch our videos, it looks like we just always have fun, laughs, and and, and a good time, and that is true. We, we do have a lot of those, and, and all of those are caught on camera, obviously, but um, before then, there's been things that we all went through, me and my whole family. My, fam my mom went through things, my dad went through things, my brother went through things, I went through things. And I also said in multiple videos that I was a troubled child. Uh, I gave my parents a lot of trouble. I was a bad kid. I have a rap sheet and it is facts. I got thefts and stuff. I used to steal from from uh, like stores, like games, video games and stuff of that sort. And when I was a kid, I used to steal bubble gum, candy. I, 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 had a, I got a lot of issues, uh, traffic tickets, things of that sort. But the thing is, is I definitely have changed. I haven't gotten in trouble with the law and I don't know how long. Pretty much the only trouble I really get into now is I still got a problem when it comes to traffic laws. I apologize. I do like to go a little bit faster than I'm supposed to be. But other than that, I do not have any troubles at all when it comes to the police. There's no incidents, no run-ins, no charges. So for the people who are trying to bring me down and make me look like this horrible kid, this horrible guy, uh, great attempt. Good job. Thanks for another view. You guys are getting my mom a check. You guys are getting me, Zeddy Chunk Chunk a check. So 
I'm absolutely loving it in the sense of the view. But with you trying to shatter my name, not feeling that so much. I can keep it 100. I'm not going to say I love it. Not feeling that so much. So I'm just making it clear. Um, I'm, I obviously know that I'm still going to get comments about this. But I'm glad that I addressed it. This would be my first and last time addressing it. Uh, but so if people do have questions, hey, all right, this guy said Dalvin uh, beats his woman. That's, he has a restraining order on him for that. Well, now you can look at this video and see that that's not true. I do have a restraining order on me for her. That's facts. And the reason why she did that is because she had a lawyer because we're going to we're going to go to court for placements so the lawyer her lawyer said hey it's best if we get a restraining order it's going to look good in court when it comes to the placement of the child which still didn't make sense because we needed a dna test at the end of the day to figure out if the child was truly mine to this day i'm not sure if the baby is mine or not the girl, like I said, is doing everything in her power to make me not be a part of that girl's, that her, that her, our, that her daughter's life. I'm not going to say our daughter because I don't know if it's mine or, or not. If she was my daughter, I'd love to be a part of her life. I'm not a deadbeat dad. I wouldn't be a deadbeat dad. Uh, I had a big conversation about this in my last video. Go check it out. Um, so I know how important it is to have a father in your life, and if that is my child, then I'll definitely step up and take the duties. But like I said, this woman, she's very conniving, very manipulative. She is 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 very hectic when it comes to her. Uh, but um, like I said, I haven't I haven't talked to this girl, or haven't heard from this girl, I haven't seen this girl in over five, four years, four to five years. Um, so. Yeah, this this is the truth about the rumors that are floating around. I do have other videos and other rumors to clear up, and I'm definitely I'm going to clear them up in other videos. So definitely stay tuned for that. I'm actually thinking about releasing the photos. Uh, these are pictures that I have taken, pictures I have received before me and her completely uh, lost all contact with each other of the baby. I'm gonna let you guys see these photos. I don't know if I, I well, I'm thinking about doing it in my next video. I don't know if it's 100% a good idea, but I'm definitely gonna do it. And you guys let me know what you guys think of the baby. Well, I don't, I'm not saying I'm definitely doing it. Go in the comment section down below and let me know if you guys would like to see these photos. If you came this far in this video, let go in the comment section down below. Let me know if you wanna see these photos. I definitely would release them. If it is a good idea, if it is a good idea, I gotta talk to my parents about it. I really don't know if it is, but ZCC family, I just want to say, I really appreciate you guys rocking with me. I appreciate the people who support me. I appreciate the people who are nothing but positive when it comes to me. I really do appreciate you guys defending me or my mom or our family. I really, I recommend don't doing it um, because. Those people who are doing those negative comments are really bored people. They're very, very bored people. Meaning, uh, the reason why I say this is because if you have time to look up our records and try to figure, go dig to the deepest of deep to figure out our life, then you're a very bored person. So these people have all day to argue with you. And I'm pretty sure a lot of the people who support don't have all day to keep replying back. So it's best to not argue. If you, if you do want to defend, just say one thing and then call it a day. Do not keep on replying back to them because they will go on forever. This is entertainment for them. They love doing this. Uh, just let them keep replying to my, to the videos and let them run up my views uh, and run up my mom's views. ZCC family, I hope this clear things up. No, Dalvin does not beat women. You hear this right now, I'm telling you that. No, I do not have a domestic charge case on me. No domestic violence. Those are all false rumors and I'm here putting it to rest. Uh, I will be doing other videos that are with rumors that I have to talk about with you guys. So let me know in the comment section down below what you like to talk about, what you want me to talk about next. Um, but ZCC family, you guys can find me on Instagram, YouTube, and Snapchat, all at Zeddy Chunk Chunk, Z-A-D-D-Y, C-H-U-N-K, C-H-U-N-K. 
Dasik Twitter also. You definitely find me on Twitter. I'm the newest member of Twitter. Make sure you go follow your boy. Um, I will tweet back to everybody who hits me up. I will DM back to anybody who hits me up on Instagram and I will send a message back for anybody who hits me up on Snapchat. Uh, the video, this video may get a lot of comments, so it's going to be hectic for me to keep up with the comment section. Section, So be patient. Make sure you go like and subscribe. Those are the two most important things I want you to do. Almost at 100K. And I absolutely thank you guys. You guys are truly amazing. And I truly love you from the bottom of my heart. And for the people who are, are going to tell me, Dalvin, you didn't have to address this. I really wanted to address this. I really think I did have to address this. I wanted to uh, put these allegations to rest. Um, like I said, at the end of the day, it's never ever going to be the rest because you're going to have those people who are just going to be negative. But I wanted to give my side of the story and uh, let you guys know what it is. But ZCC family, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Happy Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel, become a part of the ZCC family, give this video a thumbs up. I was just about to do my outro, then it cut out. But as we all know, the grind never stops to the ZCC gang is on top. Let's get it! Uh, it's showtime, the whole place hopping. Stage rocking, this for those who stay watching. For when my tape dropping, long as the bass knocking, I stay popping. I'm trying to run this shit forever like I'm Bay watching.